Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you, Asima. Happy Monday to you all. Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. Good morning, Mali. Good morning, Glo. Good morning, I am Judith. Good morning, No Ma Where To. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, Nyota Grace. Good morning, Abigail. Good morning, Nomi. God bless you, everybody. Good morning, Patience. Good morning, Popster. Good morning, Soshi. Good morning, Rerati. Reratilo. Reratilo. You have to teach me how to say your name, darling. You've got to teach me how to say your name. <laughs> Good morning, Akona. Good morning, Sibongile. Good morning, Nozuko. Good morning, Rachel. It's great to see you here. Nsako. Good morning, the king. Um. Good morning. Where have you been, the king? It's wonderful to see you here. Good morning, Mavis. Good morning, Mavis. Good morning, Sma. Good morning, Antonika. God bless you, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the spiritual portal of prayer. My name is Melody. And I want you to pat yourself on the back. Say, well done for showing up in the place of prayer. Well done for making it to this time of prayer. Well done on a Monday morning for waking up early out of bed. Uh, some of you, it's afternoon. Some of you, it's midnight. It's the midnight hour for some of you. But good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're connecting from. Yes, my house is my car. <laughs> I, must, I must make sure that I speak sl uh, very slowly. My husband and my child are sleeping at the back. <laughs> good morning, the effective exit manual. Good morning, good morning. Love you too. God bless you, everybody. Jazzy, good morning. Do share this broadcast. Thank you so much, Simba. I see you sharing. I see you sharing. I see you sharing. Thank you, everybody. 78 people have shared the broadcast so far. God bless you. May God honor you. May God increase you. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, and may God make you a partaker of the blessing that is connected to those that share his word. Today, we are taking our time of Bible study, quick Bible study and quick prayer. Let's see if we can make this a quick one so you can get along with your Monday. Let's see if we can make it a quick one so you can get along with your Monday. And if you're one of those people that write notes today, I am talking about a topic called Let There Be Light. We want to speak light into the week. Let there be light. So we're going to be taking our piece of scripture from the book of Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 5. Let there be light is the theme. Uh, we're reading from Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 5. If you somebody could type that, I will pin it. So Father, we just want to thank you for this time. Thank you that on a Monday morning, our first priority is to come into your presence um, and to be with you. Our first priority is to set the order of the day by coming on the prayer altar and, and setting some order and structure. Our first priority of the day is to speak to you. Uh, we give you glory. We give you praise for equipping us, for allowing us uh, to be at this place at this time and to show up in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that may you inhabit the prayers of your people this morning. I pray that may you uh, sit on them in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name that as we pray and apply intercessory pressure into the month and into the week, that Lord, you will show yourself strong on our behalf. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, I pray. Amen and amen. So I want to quickly read this piece of scripture. And we're going to be praying. We're going to be praying this morning. How many of you are ready to pray? Just say, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, Tracy says, what other platforms can we use for some people who want to join but they can't use TikTok? I would encourage you to open a TikTok account. Um, even if it's a dummy account, an anonymous account, maybe this is not the place where you want to hang out. Trust me, I also wouldn't be here if God didn't lead me here to pray. 
I, I, I believed that TikTok was a dancing app. Kids came here to dance. <laughs> and the Lord said, go pray on TikTok. So currently this is where we're at, but um, our hope and our desire is that the Lord will give us capacity to at least go on TikTok um, and on Instagram at the same time every morning. Um, and so we're working towards that. Please keep us in prayer um, so that we gun up capacity to get that done in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. In fact, uh, we do prayers for salaries. And on that particular day, I'll usually take my husband's phone and then I will be here uh, on both 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 accounts uh, and then in the afternoon we always rebroadcast on YouTube yeah no so on YouTube we we, we, we rebroadcast in the afternoon so you can always catch catch it on YouTube um, in the afternoon in Jesus name all right so uh, the book of Genesis chapter 1 we're gonna be reading from verse 1 to 5 this is the story of creation we are finding uh, the Lord is uh, beginning the process of creation. Uh, the Bible says in the beginning, in the beginning, as we're beginning this week, we just want to speak some things into the week. Uh, God, the Bible says as God was beginning, he created the heavens and the earth. Uh, so as we're stepping into this week, we just want to speak, we just want to speak light into this week. We want to speak light into this week. The Bible says in verse two, now the earth was formless and void. And darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. So God finds a formless structure. The Bible says he actually creates heaven and he creates earth. But heaven and earth are formless structures. They are void. There is nothing there to talk about. Many of you are about to step into the week and a lot of you uh, 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 are stepping into a formless space. Uh, you are stepping into a place where there is a lot of unknowns. Uh, you are stepping into a lot of uh, a place where some of you are experiencing anxieties concerning. You just know that there is something really important that needs to happen in your life this week. Maybe some of you are faced with very important, difficult decisions concerning your life, concerning your business, concerning your ministry, concerning your family, concerning your children, concerning your, some of you concerning your marriage. Uh, you are stepping into a, a, a formless void space uh, 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 and darkness, the Bible says, was over the surface of the deep. And darkness was over the surface of the deep. Now, many of you, if you've ever walked in the dark, uh, you will know that it's a very difficult terrain to navigate. When you are walking in darkness, you don't know your direction unless you're something assisting along the journey any form of light, uh, you, you, you walk without direction. Uh, it doesn't matter how confident your walk is. If you're walking in darkness, uh, you could be walking the wrong way. It doesn't matter your, 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 uh, uh, your, your, your countenance while you're walking, you could be as confident as possible. But as long as there's darkness along the way, uh, uh, you could be walking in the wrong direction. But we're going to speak light into the, into the week. We're going to speak light into the week. The Bible says the earth was formless and it was void and darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Bible says the spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the water. And so uh, when I hear the spirit of God, I hear the potentialities of God. When I hear the spirit of God, I hear the action power of God. When I hear the spirit of God, I hear the capabilities of God. Some of you, you are capable. You, are, you have potential. You are full of all, all that is required to begin to birth out new things. But as long as there's darkness on the surface, as long as there's darkness uh, uh, on the surface, uh, 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 that potential will do nothing for you. So we want to speak light into the weak. Uh, uh, you could be intelligent, but as long as there's darkness... Even an intelligent man, when he walks in darkness, when he walks without light, it is very difficult to make the decisions that are required for that journey. Uh, you could be, you could be well capable. You could be well versed. You could have a geology degree, but as long as there's darkness and you don't have light, your ability to make decisions in a dark terrain, your ability to make decisions in a dark space, your ability to make decisions in a place where you can't really see what you are working with is limited. So we want to speak light 
speak light into the weak. God, we, we, we know the ca capacity is there. Uh, we know the grace is there. We know the intellect is there. We know you've set us up well, but we speak darkness in, we speak light into every dark area of our lives as we step into the weak. The Bible says, and God said, let there be light. God says, I have created heaven and I've created earth. It is formless. It is void. Now I want to begin to build. So the Bible says the first, the first thing that he speaks over the heavens and the earth, which were formless and void, where darkness was over the surface of the deep, is light. God had the wisdom to speak light over a dark area. He says, I, I, I'm, I'm getting ready to build some things this week. I'm getting ready to make some decisions this week. I'm getting ready to make this formless and void week into something productive, something effective, something fruitful, something that gives me profitability in my business. But let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. And the Bible says there was light. And the Bible says, and God saw that the light was good. And he separated the light from the darkness. And God called the light day and the darkness night. And the Bible says, then there was evening and there was morning. And this was the first day. So the first day of creation, God uh, creates the heavens. Uh, at the, in the beginning, he had created the heavens and the earth. And the first day, he creates light because he had some work to do. I don't know about you, but I've got some work to do this week. I don't know about you, but I've got some, 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 some things to do this week. We've got some scheduling of some, of some podcasts to do this week. We've got some calls to make this week. Uh, we've got some things that we need to do. We are building some things this week. And I need the light of God to go before me. Because it doesn't matter how good a man's decision making is, as long as he can't see what he is working with. As long as he is walking in darkness. As long as, as he is work, walking in a place where he doesn't have the ability to have the vision and the sight to make the right decisions. He is still compromised. So if we're coming on this virtual portal of prayer this morning and we're going to say, Lord, we speak light into the weak. We speak light into the weak. Woman of God, what is light? Light is a form of energy. In fact, some of you use solar energy right now. If you are in South Africa, you certainly, you might not be using solar energy, but I know at some point you've thought about it. <laughs> I know at some point you've gone online. You've, you've said to yourself, I, I can't keep up with these load sheddings. I, I can't, I can't. I, I, I told my husband, I told my husband at the rate at which South Africa is going. I, I, the, it's the first time I've ever thought of moving. It's the first time I've ever thought to myself, listen, I, I can't, I can't take it. I can't take this. I can't take this. <laughs> and some of you, every time there is no light in your homes, you begin to say the president's name. Cyril. <laughs> Cupcake. Why? Why are you doing this to us? Why are you doing this to us? All of a sudden, you know, he's, he, he starts hearing sounds in his ears. Because it is a very frustrating thing to try to build a business in an economy where there is no light. Some small businesses in South Africa right now have closed because of because they've been uh, deprived of enough light, deprived of enough energy. So light is a form of energy. Uh, 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 there is frustration in every place where there is no light, especially when it's dark. Some of our biggest frustrations is when uh, load shedding goes in the evening. Because that's when you really start thinking about uh, 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 your, your vote. You start thinking about your vote. You go on the, on the, on the ESCOM app and you start hearing people talk about, that's why I'm not voting. That's why I'm not voting this way this year. Because it is so frustrating. It's not that you don't have a stove to use to cook. It's there, but it doesn't work where there is no light. It's not that you don't have work that you want to do, that you said you were going to do after work. Uh, you, 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 you came with work from work <laughs> and you said you were going to do work outside of work and you came and there is no light. It doesn't matter a man's potentialities if there is no light in his life. If he is walking in darkness, he is still compromised. <laughs> 
It is, the, 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 there is a limitation on the produce and the effectiveness of his life. The Bible says that the spirit of the Lord was hovering over the surface of the earth. I don't know if you know the spirit of God, but wherever there is, there is action. Wherever there is, there is movement. Wherever there is, he is, there is energy. Wherever he is, he is creating things. But God had to create light to facilitate the ministration even of the spirit of God. God had to create light even to facilitate the ministration of the spirit of God because in darkness, what can one really do? So we're going to speak light into the week. I don't know who I'm speaking to this morning. I know you are capable. I know you're a great leader. I know God has given you intellect. I know God has given you all things pertaining to life and godliness. I know you are set up right, but we're going to speak the light of God to go before you. We're going to speak the light of God to, to, to go right before you, before you step into that place, before you negotiate that business deal, uh, before you begin to speak to those people that you are wanting to be your new clients, before you sign that new contract, before it, you go into that le legal battleground, uh, uh, we're going to speak the light of God. God, the light of God into your marriage, the light of God into your relationship this week, the light of God into your corporate journey, uh, the light of God into your spiritual life. Father, let there be light. This week is void. It is without form, but we're going to speak the light of God so God can give us a canvas where we can begin to build. A, a, a canvas where we can begin to build and sight and vision to be able to build well. I want to make a prophetic declaration that none of you will be walking in confusion this week in the name of Jesus. I want to make a declaration that none of you will be grappling in darkness this week in the name of Jesus. I want to make a declaration that in the places where you have not been experiencing clarity, you are going to start experiencing clarity this week because of light in the name of Jesus. We speak clarity over your path. Uh, 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 we speak, uh, we speak a, 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 a light that goes before you and lights up your path and makes your decision making easy this week. In the name of Jesus, so that you can begin to build, so that you can be fruitful in your business, so that you can be effective in your ministry, so that you can actually begin to make strides in the right way in your marriage, in your relationships, in your friendships, so that there is there you can begin to see some form of effectiveness, some form of productivity and profitability in your corporate journey. In Jesus' mighty name. So light is a form of energy uh, and it is energy that is needed for any form of movement in life to take place. Light. Light. Uh, some of the areas in which light, where, where light is used is in sight and in vision. Light is the only source that helps us see beautiful things around us. So some of you, uh, 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 while walking into this week, if you don't speak the light of God to precede you, you won't even be able to see some of the benefits that God has already given. This is when a comparison starts kicking in. This is when complaining starts kicking in. This is when anxiety starts kicking in. This is when worry starts kicking in. When a man is unable to see the beautiful things around them because they are, they are walking a path with no light. But we're going to speak light into our week. We're going to say, Lord, if you would allow us to see our daily benefits, the Bible says that he loads us with daily benefits every day. Doesn't matter how bad things go. When you have the light of God, you are able to see God's daily benefits over your life. You are able to see God's, uh, God's benefits, the benefits he has given you in your life. You are able to see God's advantages that he sows and seeds on the corridors of your week. Light allows you to see the beautiful things around you. It allows you to see all the, uh, the different landscapes around you. All the things that God has given you as benefits along your journey. Light also allows the human eye uh, to distinguish. Uh, uh, to distinguish even color. 
and all this is possible because of light. It is said that the human eye can distinguish between 6,000 shades of a particular color. All, all of this is possible because of light. I want to make an announcement as we step into this week. As we're about to pray that Lord give us light so we have sight and vision in this week. Uh, we're going to pray that Lord let there be visibility in all the areas of our lives so we can make the right decisions. Uh, send us light so there is visibility in all the areas and all the places in our lives. We're going to pray. We're going to say, Father, may you give us the ability to see opportunities other people can't see in this week. Why? Because light has preceded us. Some of you, you're going to be in business and you're going to be able to see opportunities where others see nothing but disaster. They say in the Chinese language, the word that is used for opportunity is the exact same word that is used for disaster. Because wherever there is disaster, there is a disaster. Some people become millionaires. It is only your ability to see opportunity even in the darkest of seasons, even in the toughest of seasons. We're going to say, Lord, in business, in areas where we need to see opportunities, in my corporate journey, in the project I'm working on, help me to see opportunities others can't see because light has preceded me. We're going to say, Father, help me to discern. Give me discernment on this path. Discernment comes by the Lord allowing you to, uh, to see certain features along the process of your journey. There is something God gives you to work with, that your spirit works with to discern in life. Uh, you can observe a room and be able to discern that it is filled with people of, uh, of influence just by observing. You could either observe what they are wearing you could either observe their language, you could observe their posture and ultimately discern the people you are talking to. That comes when there is light. So we're going to say, Father, help give us discernment on the path this week. Uh, 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 we're going to say, Father, as the light proceeds, help us to be distinguished in the places where you have planted us. God is planting you in a certain place this week. And you are going to be fruitful. You are going to multiply. You are going to be pro profitable. I want you to pray and say, Lord, as, as we speak light into the week, may this light distinguish us. Whatever area you have planted us. And we're going to pray and say, Lord, as this light comes, let, let it allow us to bring, let it bring to the fore everything that needs fixing. Everything that needs my attention, everything that needs my time, everything that you need me to do better at as the light of God proceeds into this week. May you give me room to work on myself and become better in the name of Jesus. That's our first prayer point. Prayer governors. I want you to lift up your voice from wherever you are and begin to pray over your life. I send life into my business. I send light into my business. I send light into my ministry. Father, this morning we come into your presence with humility. We come into your presence with thanksgiving. Uh, with that, we come into your presence with hearts filled with gratitude. This is the day that indeed you have made. We rejoice and we are glad in it. We have the wisdom to come before you, King of glory, and lay our week before you. We are see seeding and sowing our week before your presence, understanding that you are the beginning and the end. You are the alpha and the omega. You know the end of a thing from the beginning. And so, Father, this morning, we just speak light into the week in the name of Jesus Christ. We are touching and agreeing with the word of God in the book of Genesis. When God speaks light before he begins creation, he speaks light into a formless place. He speaks light into a void place. He speaks light into a place where even the spirit of God was not doing any work until light came in. The Bible says the spirit of God was hovering over the many waters. And the Bible says, God said, let there be light. Father, this morning we come and we begin to speak light into the week.
We speak light, light into the last week of March, the light of God, the illumination of God over our path. In the name of Jesus Christ, we call upon the light that is going to give us sight and vision, sight and vision into our businesses, sight and vision into our marriages, sight and vision into our relationships, sight and vision into our academic journeys, sight and vision into our corporate jobs. Father, we speak illumination. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, we speak a, 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 a shining a, a, into the week in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak radiance. We speak brilliance into the week. We pray, Father, that as the light of God goes before us, we pray that as your light precedes us in the name of Jesus Christ, that it is going to begin to give us visibility in every place in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that things that we were worried about last week because we didn't have visibility. Things that we were struggling about. Decisions we were struggling to make last week because we didn't have visibility. Areas in our lives where we were struggling and grappling with decisions. Grappling in any area of those areas because we, any areas of those spaces because we didn't have visibility. Father, this morning, we pray and call upon your spirit that may he give us visibility in every corner and every area of our lives. That as we step into this week, we're going to have more spiritual intelligence than before. We are going to have the capabilities to make the right decisions. We are going to have the capacity to be more effective and more profitable and more fruitful because we have visibility. We call upon the light of God. Let it illuminate our path. We call upon the light of God. Let it shine a bright light before us. We call upon the light of God. Let it, let it give us the supernatural ability to interpret uh, the decisions we are making. We we call upon the light of God. We send it into the week. Let it give us new perspective and new viewpoints that allow us to make better decisions. In the matchless name of Jesus, we call upon the light of God. We send it into the week. Let it give us a new vantage point. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, we send forth light. In Jesus' name, to every dark area of our lives. We send forth light into every dark corner of our lives in the name of Jesus. We speak visibility in all the right places in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Father, we pray that as light precedes us, we are going to begin to see opportunities in places where we were hopeless last week. We are going to begin to see opportunities where other people cannot see opportunity. We are going to begin to see a way where others cannot see a way. We are going to begin to see a chance where others do not see chance. We are going to begin to see more moments uh, uh, and right set, sets of circumstances, even in areas where we were feeling hopeless, even in areas where we were about to give up, in areas where we were about to put in the towel, I declare and decree that by way of the Spirit, you are showing us opportunities by reason of the light that you are sending into this week. In the matchless name of Jesus, I declare an opening of our minds this week as light proceeds. I declare an opening of our viewpoints this week as light proceeds in Jesus mighty name. I declare that in business, you are given a sight to see what others cannot see. You are given us an added advantage. You are given us an altitude, a vantage point that many people are missing. Why? Because light has preceded us and it has stepped into darkness and now we can, we are able to make better decisions in Jesus mighty and wonderful name. I speak opportunities in ministry. I speak opportunities in business. I speak opportunities in marriages and relationships and friendships. I speak opportunities in our corporate journey, our academic journeys. I speak opportunities to grow even in our spiritual lives in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Opportunities everywhere because the light of God has come into a hopeless situation opportunities everywhere because the light of God has preceded us and it is showing us a way in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray for discernment. Father, as sight and vision come into my path this week because of the light of God that is preceding me, I pray for discernment, the ability to discern. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call upon the spirit of discernment. 
in Jesus mighty and wonderful name let the ability to discern fall upon your people the ability to see the ability to observe the ability to notice the ability to perceive the ability to regard to distinguish in Jesus mighty and wonderful name as light precedes them this week in whatever area area and whatever corridor of assignment you have placed them I pray that the light of God gives them a, an edge in their ability to observe an edge in their ability to perceive it gives them an edge in their sight I pray that the eyes of their spirit are opened this week that as they navigate the corridors of their assignment as they navigate the corridors of destiny you are giving them discernment an ability to notice what others cannot notice an ability to distinguish and to view what others cannot view an ability to uh, uh, identify to behold and to catch things that other people cannot catch. I pray that let this be their distinguishing factor in business. Let this be the dis their distinguishing factor in corporate. Let this be their distinguishing factor in ministry. The ability to catch the movings and the dealings of God because the light of God has preceded them in the matchless name of Jesus. We come against any hopelessness. We come against any discouragement. We come against any area of their lives where they were facing a discouragement discouragement because they couldn't see the way we prophesy that is the light of God precedes them that God is creating a beautiful canvas for them to begin to build some of them had say to themselves they don't have the capacity to build but father in the name of Jesus as the light of God precedes them this week we declare that you are giving them supernatural ability to see to see the canvas where which you have given them to build in the matchless name of Jesus show them potentialities this week show them potentialities this week show them potentialities this week show them opportunities in this week the ability to discern what others can't discern the ability to notice what others can't notice the ability to see what others can't see by power of the holy ghost by power of the Holy Ghost because the, because the light of God has gone ahead of you. I don't know about you, but in my marriage, I want the ability to notice, the ability to discern things so I can pray about them before they even happen. I don't know about you, but in business, I want the ability to notice, to spot things, to observe, to discern, to distinguish so that I can make decisions before time. I want to make decisions before markets change. I want to make decisions be before things begin to shift and a demand begins to arise in, my, in the places where I do business. We are sending the light of God. This week we are sending the light of God so that he can illuminate our path and we are able to discern and make the right decisions. In Jesus mighty and wonderful name. In Jesus mighty and wonderful name. The Bible says that God said let there be light. The spirit of God did not begin working until there was light. The spirit of God did not begin doing his work until there was light. The Bible says that by the spirit of God, he garnished the heavens in great beauty, which means that the spirit of God is the active power of God that caused creation to happen. Uh, he, he would speak and the spirit of God would go and he would begin to action the word of God. But the spirit of God was silent. The spirit of God was immobile. He was just hovering over the face of the waters until light appeared. Some of you, it's not your lack of the spirit of God. Some of you, it's not your lack of spiritual maturity. Uh, some of you, it's not your lack of, of, of the spiritual capabilities that are required in a Christian's life. It's the lack of light. It's the lack of light. And so we speak light into your life this morning. Uh, we speak light into your life this morning. We speak light, light that gives visibility to the hidden things. Life that gives visibility to the hidden pot potentialities that you have been working with. I I'm seeing somebody, you have been heavily depressed. It's not that you don't have capabilities. You don't have opportunities around you. It is the lack of light. Light allows you to see opportunities. 
Light allows you to see your vicinity. Light allows you to see what you are working with. Some of you, you are working with so much in life. If somebody was given you what you have, they would be able to accomplish so much. They would be able to create so much. They would be able to produce so much. But because there is no light in your life, you feel like you live a life of darkness. No wonder they say that when a person is depressed, one of the symptoms is that they close the curtains and they want to stay in darkness. It is almost as though darkness facilitates a certain mood. It is almost as though darkness facilitates this depressive state. But we are making a prophetic announcement in the realms of the spirit this morning that if you had been struggling with depression, struggling with hopelessness, struggling with anxiety, struggling with panic attacks because your, your sight, you have sight but you you can't maximize it when there is darkness around you. But we are speaking the light of God into your week. Which means the burdens that you have been carrying over your shoulders. You are going to begin to sense a, a release on those burdens. Why? Because light has entered into the equation. Light has entered into your life. life. Light has preceded you. And now you are able to see the potentialities, the benefits God daily loads you with. You, you're going to be able to say, I didn't know I had so much to work with. I didn't know I had so much to work with. Some of you, you have so much to work with, but you don't see it because there is no light on your path. You have so much to work with. God says, I have, I have embedded so much in you. If you could open up your eyes. If, if I could illuminate your path so you could see the amount of potential that you have, the amount of possibility you have, the amount of opportunities I have placed in your path to work with. I make a declaration this morning. I make a declaration this week. You are going to be able to see opportunities that you were not able to see. Last week, you are going to be able to discern better that you were, than you were able to discern last week. You are going to be able to distinguish a matter, distinguish things. You are going to be able to distinguish things because now light has come your way. Darkness hoovered all, uh, over the formless and void area that God wanted to build on. And the spirit of God was stagnant. The spirit of God could do no work until light stepped into the equation. I speak light over your life. So that the Holy Spirit can begin to refurbish. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The walls of your life. So that the Holy Spirit can re begin to redesign all the woes of your life so that the Holy Spirit can begin to garnish your life, beautify your life, perfect all things concerning you uh, the same way he garnished the heavens in great beauty. I prophesy that as the light of God comes into your life, your business is about to change. I prophesy that as the light of God begins to come into your life, your marriage is about to change. Your academic journey is about to change. Your business is about to change in the name of Jesus. Your ministry is about to change uh, in Jesus' name. Your relationship is about to change. Your friendships are about to change. Your spiritual journey is about to change as light floods into your life. Light gives sight and vision. And I want you to understand uh, that when light steps into a place, light is needed for growth. The growth of plants, the growth of anything leaving. If you think of anything leaving, when you look at the equation of that growth at some point, in many instances, you will see the need for light. If I have any farmers on this broadcast or any gardeners, avid governor, gardeners, I, I, I started growing a love for gardening uh, uh, last year and I have my little garden. It's got a, a bit of spinach and I'm about to step into herbs. I want to, I want to start planting a, a few herbs in there. I enjoy the process of watching something grow. I enjoy the, the, the process of watching something morph into something from something small into something big. 
And it is said that in many growth processes, even the growth of a human body, uh, light is required. Light is necessary. Light gives us certain vitamins that are imperative for our growth process as human beings. And even in the life of a plant, a plants which are really the, uh, the, the, the life source, if we want to live, we've got to eat. Uh, 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 light is required for growth. Uh, uh, and I want to prophesy that as light steps into your path, as we speak the light of God into your week, I want to declare that growth is going to begin to sprout up every corner and every area of your life in the name of Jesus. I want to declare that every area where you are struggling with growth, any area in your life where you were struggling to extend, extend a business, extend a ministry, expand a ministry, uh, to grow maybe affection in your marriage, to grow uh, understanding in your relationship with the person you're quoting, uh, to grow your, 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 your professional portfolio to a place where you are actually uh, 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 respected as a corporate brand. I want to declare that every area that had been stagnant, every Every area that had been delayed, every area that had been denied, every area that was showing no form of growth as we speak the light of God into this week. I want to declare that you are going to begin to see some form of movement. You are going to begin to see some form of growth in the name of Jesus. Some germination is going to begin to take place by way of the spirit. As some mat maturation is going to begin to take place by way of the spirit. You you are going to begin to see some development. You are going to begin to see some shifting. Growth will begin to take place in the area where light is stepping in. I declare that you will begin to blossom. You will begin to flourish. You will begin to thrive. You will begin to shoot up. You will begin to see results. You will begin to see profitability. Why? Because we are sending forth light as we begin the week. In the name of Jesus, somebody lift up your voice. God, I refuse to stay in a place where nothing grows. I refuse to stay in a place where nothing blossoms. Ay, 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 ay. I refuse to stay in a place where there is no movement, no mobility, no increase, no profitability. I refuse to stay in a place where there is no form of growth. Uh, no manner of development. I, I refuse to stay in a place where nothing is sprouting up and encouraging my effort. You have been putting in so much effort and seeing no results. But we are speaking light into your week. We are speaking light into the last week of March. And we are declaring that there has to be some form of movement. We are applying intercessory pressure. We are saying God as light is released over my life, over my business, over my ministry. As light is released over my marriage, over my academics, any place where God has planted you, over my corporate journey, as light is released. May I begin to see growth. May I begin to see some form of progress. I am yearning to see some kind of development in my life. What kind of a life is this? Where I work and I toil and there is nothing to show for it. What kind of a life is this where I work and I labor and, and according to scripture, a worker deserves their pay. And yet my life shows no form of produce for that which I put on the ground. What kind of life is this where I'm constantly planting and sowing and I'm receiving no results. I'm, I'm receiving no development, no growth, no movement. What kind of life is this? That shows no upward mobility. I want you to begin to pray for growth. Lord, I speak growth in this week. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice, prayer governors, and begin to pray to your maker. Zakale vrakida bayande kadia. Raka ziva kade bayando kosika. This Monday morning, Father, we cry out for your mercy. In every area that has proved itself stagnant. In every area where we have not seen any movement, any mobility. In every area we have not seen ourselves flourishing no matter how much effort we have been applying. 
in every area that seems void and without form. Every area of our lives that is void, that is showing no sign of development, no sign of profitability, uh, no sign of improvement. Father, we are sending forth the light of God to step and in, into those circumstances and illuminate them with light. Uh, we cry out for your grace, O oh God. Let it be released over this week so that there is light and we give the Holy Spirit permission to step into those places in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, to step into those places and begin to shift and change things on our behalf in the name of Jesus. We speak growth. We speak vitality. We speak a blooming and a flourishing season has now arrived. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we're stepping into a season of thriving. We're stepping into a season of success. We're stepping into a season of escalation, of advancement and progress. In the name of Jesus, we come against any spirit that had been standing in the way of our progress. In Jesus' mighty name, any barrier, any blockade, any hindrance, any limitations, any glass ceilings, any spiritual embargoes that had been placed in our way to frustrate growth uh, in Jesus mighty name as we send forth the light of God into this week we pray that they are removed in Jesus mighty and wonderful name father I thank you I thank you for light light in my life father I thank you I thank you for light light that is bringing sight and vision I thank you for light, light that is bringing in growth in the name of Jesus onto my path. Thank you for growth. We receive it. Thank you that you are broadening our horizons in the name of Jesus. Thank you that you are expanding the corners of our tents in the name of Jesus. Thank you that you are perfecting the areas of our lives that we're stagnant in the name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Prayer governors, without light, there is no food formation. Because without light, the process of food formation and the very existence of life on earth would be impossible. I just want to speak over your life that let there be light that, that brings provision. Let there be light that brings life around you. Let there be light over your health. Let there be light over your finances. Let there be light over your friendships, over your relationships. Let there be light over your marriages. Let there be light in every corner of your life. Let it bring vitality. Let it bring the nutrition, uh, the nutrients, the environment that is required for something to grow. Let it grow around you exactly what is required for your business. Let it grow around you exactly the, the nutrients that are required for a life that you desire. The life you have been praying for. Light, without light, the process of food formation wouldn't, wouldn't even be available. It wouldn't even happen. Whatever, whatever nutrition, whatever environment, whatever atmosphere is required for your life to thrive. I pray this morning that let there be light that facilitates that area of your life, wherever there is life in your life, wherever there is life, let there be light. That which you have sowed in the ground. Ay, 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 ay. Let there be light that brings you your daily bread in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, as we're concluding prayer governors, I want to declare Matthew 4 verse 16 over you. We're going to place a demand on Matthew 4 verse 16. It says, and the people living in darkness have seen a great light. And on those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. I want to make a declaration that those that are around you this week will begin to see 
a shift, a change in your life. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Just trying to get my battery charging because it's low. I want to declare, the Bible says that the people living in darkness, they saw a great light. I want to declare that those people around you that are not experiencing the same atmosphere that you are going to be experiencing this week, those people around you that have not made the same confession, those people around you are going to begin to see you in a completely different environment. You will, you will, you will be talking to people in the same industry as you, and it will be as though you are talking about two different industries industries as though you're talking about two different markets as though you're talking about two different businesses in two different locations why because there is an atmosphere that light is created around you that is facilitating your progress that is facilitating your growth so i want to declare that those around you will begin to see this light they will begin to notice this light they will begin to notice this illumination they will begin to notice that you are living in an in, in an environment that is different from the one they are living in the the Bible says that the people that were living in darkness, they began to see a great light. They began to see a great life. May people around you begin to notice a shift, a shift caused by this light this week in the name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your voice and just say, Lord, the people around me will see the great light. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that those around me are going to begin to notice and experience and see a shift, a shift in my ministry, a shift in my marriage, a shift in my businesses, a shift in my corporate job, a shift in my family, a shift in my friendships, a shift in my, in my relations. In the name of Jesus, let there be a, a big shift that other people will become evangelists of. Other people will notice this. It won't just be a family miracle it won't just be a family shift people will begin to notice and observe uh, that we are in the same environment but we are completely under different lights the bible says the people that were living in darkness began to see a great light i declare and decree that the people under the sound of my voice this morning as we apply intercessory pressure are going to be billboards of, a, of what a life can look like in the name of jesus when light steps in uh, when when illumination steps in uh, when light steps in and the spirit of God now has room to work I pray in the name of Jesus that those that surround us will testify of great light I pray in the name of Jesus that those that are on the same projects with us will begin to say there is something different about the way you're doing your project this week there is an ease it seems like things are coming together it things like uh, seems like things are working in your favor why because we have prayed for a great light to go before us so father in the name of jesus let this light not be seen and observed by only those that live in our vicinity but i pray that even our neighbors shall observe and notice and discern that something has shifted i pray that those that do business with us shall notice that something has has changed and shifted i pray that those that are doing life with us will notice that there is something different about this week we are no longer worried like those people in the world we are no longer burned like those that live around us we have experienced a great light so father we call upon great light to go before us this morning to make every crooked path straight to bring illumination into every dark path to make our decision making better in the matchless name of jesus we call upon the light of God to reveal to us the opportunities that we have been missing because we have been living in darkness. We call upon the light of God to give us the capability to distinguish that which is which is good and that which is not that which is wise and that which is not that which gives you glory and that which does not. We call upon the light of God to bring to the fore everything that needs fixing in this week. And we pray for the Holy Spirit to begin to do his work in our lives. Because the earth was void and without form. And the Spirit of God hovered upon the many waters until light came. Until light came. Until light came. Let every void area of your life begin to experience light. 
Let every place without form in your life begin to experience light so that the Holy Spirit is allowed an opportunity to do what he was sent to do in your life. So that the Holy Spirit is allowed to do what he was sent to do in your life. We call upon the light of God. We call upon the light of God. Areko zavaka debaya. Arinda nama soke veke debayante ne mesika diba. The light of God. The light of God. The light of God over your health. In the name of Jesus, let it begin to produce miraculous healings in Jesus' mighty name. The light of God into your business. Let it begin to produce opportunities even in areas where, where you thought no opportunity was going to come from. The light of God to illuminate your path in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. I call you out of that hopelessness. I call you out of life, life, lifelessness. I call, upon, call you out of that slumber. I call you out of that place where you wanted to give up on your life. I call you out of that place where you wanted to give up on your marriage. I call you out of that place where you wanted to give up even on your ministry. I call you out of that place where you wanted to put a resignation at work. I call you out of that place of hopelessness, that place of darkness where you are not able to see that which God has placed in your hands. I call you out of the place where you have not been able to experience and see the opportunities that surround you. May the Lord give you, give you new vision. May the Lord give you new sight. May you be able to see that which you were missing for the past few weeks in the name of Jesus. Right now, the light of God is illuminating someone's life. It is shifting someone's perspective. It is shifting someone's worldview. It is shifting someone's understanding. It is shifting someone's odds in the name of Jesus. The light of God. The Bible says the light shines in the darkness. John 1 verse 5, it says the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not yet overcome it. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. You are believing in darkness, but as the light of God enters into your week, you are believing in darkness, but as the light of God enters into your business, darkness cannot comprehend it. Darkness cannot overcome it. I don't care how thick your circumstance looks. I don't care how difficult it looks. I don't care how, how unreasonable it has been looking. But as the light of God illuminates your path this week, darkness will not be able to comprehend it. Darkness will not be able to overcome it. This week... The light that we are declaring into this week, it will shine over every dark place in your life. It will shine over every dark place in your life in Jesus' mighty name. And let there be a shift in every corner of your life. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name we pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen. I want somebody to celebrate Jesus in advance. I want you to thank him like you've seen it. I want you to thank, you, thank him like you've touched it. I want you to thank him like you sensed something shifting as we were applying intercessory pressure over this week. I want you to thank him like you are stepping into a week that is illuminated. I want you to thank him like you are stepping into a week where the places of your worry the places of your deepest worry have now experienced a, a great light and darkness cannot overcome it any longer. No more wallowing in hopelessness. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. No more wallowing in hopelessness. Hopelessness is not our portion. Hopelessness is not our godly inheritance. Despair, living a life of despair and dejection is not our godly inheritance. So I want to speak to somebody. Your face was down. You were downcast. Your spirit was 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 was, was, was lacked hope. It 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 wasn't finding a way out. May God give you a new countenance this week. 
in Jesus' name. In the places where you were demoralized, in the places where you were downcast, in the places where you were feeling horrible and frustrated, I just speak new life over your path in the name of Jesus. Let the light of God illuminate your path. Let the light of God illuminate your path. And if you had been depressed, I want you to open the curtains. Ay, 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 ay. Go take a shower. Wear something you like. Go make yourself a meal. Hallelujah. Because light has entered into your home. Light has entered into your path. Light has entered into that dark space you were in where you couldn't even wake up. Uh, and now the Holy Spirit can begin to do his work. It wasn't that there was the absence of the Holy Spirit. There was the absence of light. And the moment light stepped in, the Holy Spirit said, hello, somebody. I'm getting ready to do what I do best which is to garnish your life in great beauty, which is to garnish the heavens in great beauty. I'm getting ready to do what I have always been equipped to do. I just needed light. I just needed light. Give me light. So we're speaking light into every corner of your life and let the Holy Spirit begin to do a miraculous work in your life. Let the Holy Spirit begin to empower you and energize you in places you never even thought you would ever go back to again and do anything in because you were so discouraged and hopeless. The light of God going ahead of us this week. The light of God preceding us this week. The light of God setting the scene for us this week so the Holy Spirit can partner with us and do with us what he wants to do with us in the name of Jesus begin to build again begin to build again begin to build again begin to build the power and the help of the Holy Spirit is partnering with you in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Prayer governors, God bless you. Congratulations for showing, on, showing up on the prayer altar. Well done. You made it here. The enemy never banks on you making it to prayer. So well done for getting yourself out of bed. Well done for making room, making space for yourself to speak into your week, to speak a blessing into your week. I, 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 in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree that this week shall be a, a week of even a, a, a vision shifts. You'll be able to see uh, things that you were not able to see. God bless you, Tina, our uh, uh, resubscribed subscriber. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, may you experience the goodness of the Lord. May you experience the help of the Lord. May you experience the illumination that you require to see things right so you can make the best decisions for whatever area God has planted you for. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, God bless you, prayer governors. Somebody says, Melody, I came here late. I wish I had been here a bit earlier. I feel like this was my word. Don't you worry. We are going to uh, uh, post this exact same broadcast on our YouTube platform. Our YouTube platform is called House of Hosting Heaven. If somebody could type that, I will pin it. House of Hosting Heaven on YouTube. Please follow us. It is absolutely free. Subscribe to the platform. You just click that black button and uh, follow us uh, 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 and you get notified every single time we there is a rebroadcast of our morning prayers and this happens at 12 noon. 12 p.m. SAST. Depends whatever time zone you're connecting from. Convert that and set a, a reminder. Uh, share this uh, prayer with a prayer group that you're a part of. Share this with maybe your siblings. Share this with your family. Some of you, your family don't come here on a daily basis, but always try at least to share what, the Monday prayer so that it opens up the door for uh, for their week. You know, some of them don't have capacity to be here every day, but they can. Th you can share that Monday prayer and just say, let's start the weekend prayer. That's how you you, you develop a hunger in someone for, for prayer, an appetite for someone in prayer they'll start coming on monday and before you know it they'll start telling you things that we spoke about on wednesday things that we spoke about on uh, a freedom friday why because god will keep drawing them to the prayer altar god will keep drawing them to the prayer altar that's right thank you so much vicky and many others that have typed our hosting heaven platform that is the name of our hosting heaven channel in jesus mighty and standing in faith with you all 
Uh, I'm going to be standing in faith with everybody here uh, that the Lord will give you grace in Jesus mighty and wonderful name to walk this week in illumination, to walk this week in light, resounding light. You will begin to see even in your decision making that you are no longer just grappling around corners. You are no longer just grappling around the darkness, but you have experienced great light in Jesus mighty and wonderful name. Prayer governors, God bless you so very much. Congratulations. Welcome into the new week. Uh, I'm celebrating the things that God has already sent ahead of you that you are going to encounter as the week unravels itself. Get excited in Jesus mighty and wonderful name. Amen and amen and amen and amen. So see you tomorrow. Same time, same place in Jesus mighty and wonderful name. Um, uh, please look out for our podcast. Our first episode is going to be coming out any day now. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. So keep on the lookout on our Instagram pages. Keep on the lookout on our Facebook pages. I'm super excited about it because it is, we are breaking ground. And as we're breaking ground, I decided what better way than to just share uh, one of my earliest experiences with the Lord myself. It's a very short testimony. Uh, it won't take a lot of your time, but I think it will set the tone for the podcast. And uh, we are going to then also be uh, interviewing more people. We already have a second episode that's ready uh, that will step into um, uh, edits soon after we post this one. Uh, and next week, uh, soon after Easter, uh, that Tuesday, we have our another sitting and we're going to be uh, interviewing two more people. So keep us in prayer as we continue to do the work of the Lord with the podcast. Your lives are about to experience a new hunger for the presence of the Lord. Your lives are about to experience an encounter and Oh, an amazing, amazing shift in your appetite for the presence of the Lord and appetite for the supernatural. We're going to learn a lot as some of these people that literally live in the spirit uh, are going to be coming and sharing their testimonies uh, in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Prayer governors, God bless you. I love you tons. Uh, uh, I'm praying for you and your families and I'll be seeing you tomorrow morning in the name of Jesus Christ. So tomorrow morning uh, is the 26th and we are going to be praying for our our salaries as is a uh, habit on the 25th we pray for our salaries but i actually realized that i hadn't uh i hadn't yesterday i got so busy that i didn't uh, really put it out as much as i should have to remind people that this is the uh prayer salary day so i decided you know what let's move it to tuesday so tomorrow morning uh we are praying for your salaries and prayer governors it's it's about to be easter holiday Hello, somebody. It's about to be Easter long holiday and that salary is, is looking at you like if you are not, if you, if you're not wise, if you're not wise by Tuesday, you, you, you will be, you will be, you will be asking yourself, where did the money go? <laughs> Ah, uh, but I declare that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. I declare that that will not be your story. I declare you will not be a statistic in Jesus mighty and wonderful name. So let's pray for our salaries. Um, let's play, uh, pray for our salaries. Many of you are getting paid today, getting paid tomorrow. You're going to be getting paid throughout the week. Let's just pray and speak financial blessings over our salaries and ask the Lord to make our little much. I know some of you are saying, woman of God, I, I, in my money, I can't even do much with the money that I receive, but we're going to trust that the Lord is going to take our little and he's going to multiply it and make it much. So invite your friend, the one that's always complaining about their salary, invite your niece, invite your cousin, invite your, your siblings, invite your father, invite your mother, invite them tomorrow and let's connect and let's touch and agree and let's speak financial blessing uh, over our salaries in Jesus mighty.